you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys I changed up some of my curriculum and I cannot wait to share with you guys um, the changes that I'm going to be making within my homeschool this year so um, let's go ahead and get on into this video you guys so um, if any of you guys are new here to my channel, you just clicked on this video for the first time. Hi, I'm Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, four, and two, and I'm about to start my third year of homeschool. So you guys, like I really have had a lot of time during my summer break. You know, while all of like the homeschooling curriculum is kind of like put away and um, I just really have been able to have a lot of time to really self-reflect on how and what I want my homeschool to look like now and in the future. I feel like my first two years of homeschooling, I was just kind of like uh, stressed out to really be honest. I was just wanting to keep my daughter on par. I was just trying to make sure, you know, I was checking off all of the check marks, dotting my I's, crossing my T's, and I was really just looking at homeschooling from an academic point of view. I wasn't really looking at my homeschool until like really my second semester of my second year. So this January was really when I started to look at my homeschool in another light other than just academics and performances. And uh, to say all that to say, I really wanna make some changes in my homeschool, especially as we are going into like our soft start of our homeschooling year. I don't wanna look back at, you know, this year of homeschooling, especially since this is going to be my last official, you know, homeschooling year, homeschooling only one of my kiddos, because next year I'm gonna have a kindergartner. And it's just, it's so crazy for me to say that right now, but I really wanna put things into perspective, especially for my oldest daughter. I don't want her to look back at our homeschooling journey together and she feels like um, or she ever would feel like she didn't have an opportunity to do those interest led things to uh, really do things outside of the box as I'm growing and I'm getting comfortable in my you know my skin in my homeschooling journey I know that my homeschool is going to continue to evolve and change and I don't want her ever to regret our time that we had together so in our first quarter of our homeschool year I really want to focus on interest-led learning specifically for Brielle. Um, like I said before, this is going to be our last year together, just me and her. I do do things with my uh, four-year-old and my two-year-old, but to really be honest, you guys, I really only do things with them about three days a week of focused learning, and they're learning it so quick. I mean, my four-year-old's attention span is like 10 minutes. My two-year-old, she doesn't have one at all. <laughs> so, you know, their time that I spend with them doing things is really, really short, so I still have this focused time just for Brielle. So, in saying that, I'm going to show you guys everything that I have selected out, and not only am I going to show you everything I selected but I'm also going to turn the camera around after I show you everything and show you how I'm going to fit all of this stuff in in our first six weeks now I don't know what's gonna happen in our next six weeks or the next six weeks after that because you know we have uh, six six week terms all right now I'm going to focus on is my first six week term uh, that's gonna be starting pretty pretty soon so um, yeah let me stop rambling you guys but I'm gonna show you the core which is going to be like her math and uh, language that we're going to start off with the school year. She is going to be finishing up Saxon Math 6-5. Um, she's at about less than 77 right now. So Brielle, she is killing this Saxon right here. So I know uh, more than likely going into probably our uh, second or our third term, She's probably going to be on the next level of Saxon math. So we are going to continue with Saxon. Now for our language, the main things we're going to be focusing on is just fix it grammar. So we're going to be doing fix it grammar, uh, town mouse and country mouse for her grammar. Now for her vocabulary, we are going to continue using her vocabulary notebook where she's going to be utilizing the vocabulary from Fix It Grammar. Also, these cards that you guys are seeing right here, these are my uh, Sullivan uh, fifth grade vocabulary flashcards that she utilizes this school nest notebook for and she's doing an awesome job with vocabulary. So this is going to be our vocabulary. 
Now, our main pour that we're gonna be trying out, and I'm so excited about this, because this is really where I see my daughter's future as far as the things she is interested in. We are going to be doing Gather Round Artist. And I'm so excited about this unit. You guys, we are going to be learning um, all about, what is it? We're gonna be learning about composers, artists, novelists, screenwrites. We're gonna be learning about so many things. And um, I'm so excited to do a gather round unit. I tried to gather round unit in my uh, first year of homeschooling, but I really don't think I gave it like uh, the attention that it needs. So uh, we are going to be doing this unit study and I'm so excited. So um, I cannot wait for us to gather into uh, or to do this like interest led learning. These are all topics and things that Brielle is interested in right now. And I really feel like this is gonna be a fun unit for her. So gather around artists is what we're gonna be doing. Now, as far as a literature study we're gonna start off with, we are going to be doing a Brave Writers literature study. We are going to be doing The Lemonade War by a Brave Writer. So this is going to be her literature study. Uh, you guys, they've always been interested in Brave Writer, especially like her method in which she teaches the kiddos um, about uh, the different literary elements, how she teaches uh, grammar. I really have been interested in doing one of these arrow guides. So I'm so excited to do this one, especially on this really cool book, The Lemonade War. This is actually one of our summer read alouds that we are gonna be doing anyway. So I really feel like this is gonna be a fun way for us to do our uh, literature. So uh, Brave Writers, Lemonade War Literature Guide, arrow, the arrow literature guide. Now, as far as history goes, we are going to start off our school year doing our um, Heritage Pack Heart and Soul History. So I'm really excited about this one. The core books for the Heritage Pack Heart and Soul History is of course Heart and Soul. Also the novel that we're gonna be reading, we're gonna be reading two novels with this unit, which is 40 Acres and Maybe a Mule. And this one is, I don't have the cover, but it's called Stella by Starlight. So these are the core books for the Heart and Soul Heritage Pack. So this is gonna be our history we're gonna be starting off with this school year. Now, as far as music, you guys, because we are gonna be focusing all on like the arts, our music curriculum, we are going to be doing the Heritage Mom Hymn Study. I actually have both volumes of it, but I really only see us going through the first volume this school year, and then we'll probably do the second volume next school year. My daughter is actually learning how to play the piano, and I really feel like um, this will be a great way to introduce her to hymns and things like that. And who knows, she may be able to play some of these hymns as we are you know diving in about the history of these hymns and I'm really excited about this one so this is the hymn study volume one now another music curriculum that we are going to be doing is going to be <laughs> Living Harmonies by Thistles and Biscuits. So I'm really excited about this one. This is actually a new release in from Thistles and Biscuits. I was thinking about doing their Woven Melodies, but when I seen this one, they just released, I figured this would be way more age appropriate for her. The grades for this one is fourth through eighth, and I really like how they are diving deep in all of these different types of music styles. So um, they actually are going to to be covering a lot of music styles all around the world. The first two units we're going to be doing is the flamenca and jazz they are going to be the first two forms of music we are going to be going over. So this is the teacher's guide and this right here is the student book. So if you guys want to see like a flip through of Living Harmonies, just let me know and I can definitely do that for you on my channel. Um, along with that, I went ahead and I printed off the little, um, what are these called? These are called the three-part Live in Harmony cards that goes over all of the different musical instruments that Brielle is going to learn. Uh, this right here is a full year music study. It's broken up into three terms. So I am so, so, so excited about this one. So this is going to be our uh, music. Now, as far as art, art didn't really change. We are still going to be doing Living Art Lessons, The Seven Elements by Masterbooks. This was something we started last year and we are just going to finish learning about the seven elements of art. 
Now, as far as poetry goes, I love to stick to like one specific poet. Last year, our poet was Maya Angelou. However, this year we don't have a specific poet, but I do have a new poetry book we're gonna be using for our poetry time, which is gonna be Out of Wonder, Poem Celebrating Poets. So this one is so exciting because she's gonna be able to get uh, a variety of poets within this book. So I'm so excited for us to use this as our main poetry book. Now, as far as nature study, you guys, we are going to be continuing with exploring nature for with children. And I'm so excited about this one. Uh, so far, I have been doing okay with this. I do want to go ahead and get out there a little bit more and really challenge myself. But we had an awesome time doing the Caterpillar and a Butterfly Week. And uh, this has been a great tool for me. It's really been helping me when it's coming to like me getting out of my comfort zone when it comes to nature and nature study. So this this is going to be our uh, nature study curriculum. Now, as far as like references and books that I'm gonna be using as like resources uh, to go along with everything, I picked up this DK Art, a visual encyclopedia. You guys, this book is beautiful. It goes over all of the different forms of art. It goes over music. It goes over poetry, jazz. So this is gonna be a great tool for me to use, especially as we are doing our artist unit with Gather Round. And my last reference book that I have is the timeline from Black Histories, Leaders, Legends, and Legacies. And one thing I love about this book is that it focuses on a lot of artists, composers, um, different things like that. And I'm really excited for Brielle to still utilize our timelines for black history, especially as we're going over different artists, um, different forms of art. Uh, this is just really, really amazing uh, that I still can pull out this uh, black history timeline as well. So you guys, like, this is what I'm going to start off my school year with. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and I'm gonna show you how I have scheduled everything out. Um, as you can see, I am really, really getting out of my comfort zone. I am really, really focusing on our first six weeks within the arts, our nature study, uh, all of those different types of things. I feel like all of these things in my homeschool, they were lacking last year. And instead of me uh, kind of like just saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna get to these things, I'm really starting off my school year by putting all of these enrichment things to the forefront. Because I don't wanna end off my school year saying, oh yeah, we didn't get to do this, we didn't get to do that. I wanna start it off doing all the things and really getting my daughter like pumped up and excited. So let me flip you guys around. I'm gonna show you our uh, schedule and how we're gonna pull this baby off. Okay, you guys, I have everything laid out here on this desk with numbers on it so I can show you guys like how I'm going to pull this baby off. So we'll start off with the core. So for math, we're gonna be doing math five times a week and that's what this number five means. So that means Monday through Friday, she's gonna be doing math. As far as gather round, she's gonna be doing that four times a week. So that means Monday through Thursday, she's gonna be doing gather round. As far as grammar, we're gonna be doing this four times a week. So Monday through Thursday. And vocabulary is Monday through Thursday. So for Friday, so this means that for the core, this is gonna be the core we're gonna be doing every single day along with our literature study four days a week. So that is how that's gonna go. Now on Fridays, Friday is gonna be our enrichment Friday. And that is where like all of like our history, nature, art and our music is going to come into play. So the Living Harmonies lessons, we're gonna do this once a week, Living Art once a week. And our Nature Study and our Living Art lessons, I think I'm going to rotate these two out um, because I still wanna do nature stuff, um, but I don't think I can do both of these at the same time. So I'm going to interchange art and nature. As far as our hymn study, I just have the one right here because we're gonna be going over our hymn study every single day uh, when we do our Bible time. Uh, we're gonna be just going through uh, one hymn a week. 
So I just have one because uh, we're only going to be doing one hem at a time. So whenever my daughter has mastered or learned that hem, then we will move to the next one. So this is just gonna be incorporated into our Bible time. As far as about learning like the history and things about the hymns, that's just really gonna be only on the first time we go over that. After that, we're just gonna be practicing it and listening to different forms and variations of the hymns from the links that the Heritage Mom has put in her uh, pack. So that is how the hymn study is going to go. So um, as far as like poetry, I don't have anything here for poetry because we're just gonna be reading this as we go. And then these right here again are my reference books. So that is how I have everything scheduled out for us to do. And if you guys ever wonder like how to schedule out and fit things in, this is just such a great way for you to do it, to be able to visually see all of the things you wanna do, put a number by it so you don't feel overwhelmed, but you do get an opportunity to touch on all of the subjects and things you wanna do. So um, yeah. Okay, you guys, I forgot to mention and I forgot to show you, as far as my four-year-old Leia, um, things have not changed with her, just in case you are wondering. We, our main core for her is the gentle and classical preschool and preschool math at home. Um, I really enjoy this program. We do play in preschool, but we're not as consistent with that program, to really be honest. This one, we are consistent with and she loves, and it's so easy for me to implement this in our homeschool. As far as phonics practice goes, we have just started this Elemental Phonics Level 1 by JDA, which has been going pretty good so far. So this right here is my four-year-old's core for her school year. So nothing really has changed with her. You guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you leave this video feeling like inspired and feeling like it's okay if you do change your mind before the start of your school year. I was really, really nervous to try out all of the things that I showed you in today's video. I was really nervous to kind of like let go, but I'm so happy that I'm gonna try this out and see how it works for my homeschool. I don't wanna have any regrets. Um, I wanna bring in natural learning and I wanna bring in all of these enrichment and fun things and I wanna bring it to the forefront in my homeschool. If not any time, uh, I think this is the best time, especially because this is the last year of my daughter's elementary year. So instead of me like bumping up the rigor, I'm happy to just really sit in her interests and what she's interested in and I cannot wait to start off this school year. Like I'm so, so, so pumped and I'm so excited. You guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.